The event, I think, is one of the most um, interesting and progressive events on the agricultural calendar, really because it's making people think and look at and explore different ways of farming. So they're looking at things like mob grazing, zero-till systems, organic systems, use of cover crops, many of the things that mainstream agriculture has said for many years don't work and won't make any money. But the reality is there are farmers here sharing their experiences where those systems are working, they're becoming more resilient, they're generating more profit and, and actually making farming a lot more interesting. Well, I, I think uh, what I see just initially, first time here, um, I see a lot of connect going on. And I see a lot of people talking to other people. And I think you, you find, uh, especially in agriculture, I think the social aspect is really important. Uh, because you're you're a bit isolated in your your working element, and I think it's events like this that allow communities to come together and and basically support each other. Um, it's my first time coming, and um, yeah, just really intrigued to know what changes I can make um, to our farming system. Um, we're quite fortunate to be a mixed farm. Um, you know, I think some people don't really realise what an advantage that is. Um, and you know, just being able to put cover crops in and to graze them, and you know, not only is it a feed source, but you can it can do so much good for the soil as well. And um, yeah, just you know, being able to unlock those potentials really. Um, we're quite interested in uh, the way farming's going with no-till. We ourselves have been uh, farming uh, no-till now for ten years. Uh, we found it very successful. Um, but uh, realise that there's increasing technology with cover crops uh, and, and other, te other techniques in the market that uh, we need to keep abreast of. We love it here and the, this is our second year um, coming here. The, the reason that we, that we love it is that um, what we're talking about is a big change in, in farming and the people who come to Groundswell are people who have already decided that there needs to be some change. Um, there needs to be that we can't just carry on doing exactly what we've always done. So the people who come to Groundswell are already thinking differently. Uh, I came to Groundswell for the first time last year, uh, mainly to look at drills. Uh, we were thinking about changing from just conventional power combination drill to uh, min till. Um, and I wanted to also get into cover crops at the moment. Uh, on the organic side of things, we're all uh, spring cropping and we just didn't do anything with the ground over winter. Um, and, and I could just see that was just wrong, basically. Um, so, so I wanted to start companion cropping and cover cropping um, and, and also try and do less soil inversion. Plough is an expensive thing to run and you can see the damage it does. Um, so since, since then we've started doing a rotational plough now. So we kind of, uh, we're three years min till and, uh, and then we plough two years in a row for, for high value veg crops. Uh, we've seen all the um, machines uh, in the fields and uh, been talking to a lot of uh, different companies uh, about all the equipment so uh, it has been really interesting to see and see the machines uh, driving and taking a lot of videos and how they're working in the fields and handling the, the crops so it's really interesting. Yeah. It's very interesting. I think we, we, we were talking about how there's there's kind of a, a, a clash of worlds. You get, you know, regular farmers and it also looks like some kind of more urban based activist type people that are very interested in what's going on. And it was very interesting seeing Alan Savory in person and, and some of the other people that have been speaking definitely gets you uh, fired up. So oh, it's just great. There's a real different vibe about the event. Um, it's quite different to other events I've been to before with farming. Um, there's a lot of people looking at things in a different way, thinking outside the box. I think that's, that's quite refreshing at the moment. So uh, yeah, really enjoying it. It's a very, very friendly event as well, you know. A lot, everyone wants to speak to you, everyone wants to ask you what you're doing on your farm and what you're looking at next and I think it's all very, just a really, really positive thing. Yeah, I've been very excited by some of the innovation I've seen here and the innovation that the Cherry family have been putting in practice, into practice over a number of years and the, sort of the new equipment, the big shiny machines, some with big price tags, which will actually enable us to you know, establish crops with minimal soil disturbance, improve the, the whole health and structure of our soils and as a farmer myself, uh, you know, I'm keen to see what lessons 
we can learn here to maybe apply my farm at home. I think it's great. There's a lot of nice topics and uh, uh, nice stands and uh, very interesting. It is fantastic and it's growing each year. I mean, I think there's 1,800 people coming here uh, this year from, you know, perhaps it started with 200 maybe four or five years ago. And it's a, it's a real buzz around and it's youngsters, young innovative farmers who are here. So I, I think it's probably one of the very best events that are going on in the farming calendar at the moment. And I've certainly learned a lot today. I've been in a few seminars. Uh, this is Simon Powell just there, you know, talking about minimum, till, minimum tillage drilling. And, um, you know, there's a lot to learn. So I think for me, essentially, it's just to, to keep learning. Oh, it's mind-blowing, to be honest. So, so many people with similar ideas and so much information being shared. And, yeah, really, really interesting. The farmers are communicative. It's not a them and us. It's not a, a, a rich and poor or anything like that. No, it's, it's, it's an extremely inclusive show. And so What I find really exciting about Groundswell is it seems to draw lots and lots of different threads of... Of, of farming together in a non-challenging way, in a collaborative way. So there are organic farmers here, there are people you know, who are concerned about the soil but still find organic quite challenging. There are people from you know, ancillary industries, but it, it just feels like everybody is trying to solve the same problem rather than trying to score points. And what I'm feeling is a buzz. There's a buzz uh, in the room. And there's a buzz out here in, uh, in, in, in meeting all the people that are, have turned up. So many old, face, old friends and people that I haven't met for a long time are here. So, um, I don't know, it's a, it's a, feeling, of, uh, a feeling of hope. So I think it's sort of, Grandswell give us hope.